I'm John Porter here with the Best of the West. On today's hunt, we're going into the high country of the Rocky Mountains with Gary Rowles and a Wyoming governor's tag to look for a bighorn sheep. Well, so we got a whole bunch of junk loaded in here. Not sure why it takes so much stuff to go chase a sheep, but I guess it does. So we're gonna pack in today and hopefully go find a ram tomorrow. You ready to go, Gary? I'm ready, John. <laughs> I'm Gary Rolls and I'm here in Western Wyoming to hunt with John Porter for the bighorn sheep. I was lucky enough this year at the Eastern chapter of the Wild Sheep Foundation to win the governor's tag in the auction. And uh, this is something that's, bighorn hunt has been a dream of my lifetime and I didn't know it would, whether it would ever happen if I didn't get a governor's tag. Between last February and now, I've been thinking about this and planning for this and right away picked John as the guy to go on this hunt with. Yeah, I'd like to have at least one lay the stuff out on. Oh, what's it with? 46, 47, yeah. 47. I thought you were packing it. The way the team assembled a string of nine horses and four riders. When they're walking up the hill, have the reins in your hand like this. When you go to get on, have the reins in your hand, grab the mane. If you're going up the hill, give him a little slack on the reins, grab the mane. This is just for hanging ropes on. If you hang on to this, you can pull the saddle off okay. the side. So if you want to grab something solid, grab, grab a handful of that mane. Right up in the middle. There you go. Just right. And we were on the trail in no time. We took about a, a three or four hour horse ride in. That was one of the most amazing parts of the trip to me, riding those horses into the mountains.
Well, we roamed around a few places and found us a new camp spot that's not quite as good as far as level, but but it's a better location as far as the central part of where we're going to hunt. Lots of horse feed, good water. Going to be home for this trip anyways. Bye. Horseback ride, first time ever in. Nothing like it. Beautiful country. Wait to see the camp set up and see what tomorrow brings with the sheep. Then it was just a little bit of rest and relaxation before we, we were ready to head out for the first morning of the sheep hunt. The Best of the West is brought to you by The Wild Sheep Foundation, Gunbroker.com, Cryptech, Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. It is absolutely a beautiful morning in the mountains here. Pretty rare in that you don't see very many days without the wind like we got today, nice and calm. So, ought to be a good morning to hunt a ram. We're gonna go have a look about and see what we can find. I feel like we're gonna glass around in here and head up over that way, up over the hill. And I don't know, John had indicated a couple basins over here where he's seen quite a few rams over the years. So I think that's where we're gonna go look. Now one of the things about this hunt is we're starting early. Oftentimes in early September we're dealing with a lot of smoke. Might be coming from California or Oregon, Washington, might even be blowing in from Alberta, but a lot of smoke early, which is pretty normal, and so we have to hunt quite different. In the morning you got to hunt towards the west so that you've got the sun behind you so it doesn't just illuminate the smoke. And in the afternoons you try to hunt back to the east which all sounds really good, but it's not really that easy in some parts of the country. We'll go on up here. As this light swings around, we'll be able to see better through this smoke when we get the light behind us more. Four rams, first four we spotted. Amazing, beautiful animals. They tell, they tell me they're not quite old enough though. We got about six year old rams, heavy, not long enough, not heavy enough at the end, but man, they're beautiful to look at.
So along with the smoke, we also have a lot of problems with the heat this time of year. It's really warm. The sheep are oftentimes timbered up, so we're looking up on the ridges and up in some of the basins, but spend a lot of time looking down in the timber, trying to catch a little glimpse of a bunch of rams moving somewhere. For products used in this show, please visit thelongrangestore.com or call 866-754-7618. To book your next hunt with Morning Creek Outfitters, please call 307-587-5343 or visit wyominghunts.com. spotted some rams over here about I don't know two and a half miles we're trying to figure out what they are I can see one comes around pretty good up to about seven eighths curl but I can't tell for sure with this light whether he's whether I'm just seeing kind of a light colored tip there you know whether it's this wide or this wide is what I'm trying to figure out right now And we're sneaking around there. We're trying to keep the wind right, trying to play a quartering wind, trying to get in there. All of a sudden, I look down in the trees, and right here, 40 yards in front of us, here's a ram, or I can see a piece of a horn. So we're trying to move around, trying to do it quickly before our wind swirls in there. And the rams blow out. So we run down on this rock and, and try to get a shot at them, and, but they didn't want to stop. We got too close and things happen awful fast when you get close. That's why I like to come down on the other mountain where I can look across. Shoot, shoot across because everything happens nice and slow and controlled. Instead of that, get in there to 40 yards. <laughs> well, bed it down there too. <laughs> It was exciting. And then they go. Whoop. I was hoping they'd get out there and stop, but no, no sorry. These auction tags, uh, like a commissioner's tag, or in Wyoming, we have five Wyoming governor sheep tags. And so they bid on those at an auction. That money that then is, is raised from that tag, it all goes back to, um, like this particular tag was sold at the Eastern Wild Sheep Foundation Chapter Banquet, and 
That tag is, uh, raises a lot of money, it raises some for that organization, and then most of the rest of that goes back into the Wyoming Fund. It raises a lot of money for conservation and organizations like the Wild Sheep Foundation and their chapters um, raise an awful lot of money. They put a lot of sheep on the mountain as they're putting sheep on the mountain as their motto. And, and they actually do that. They transplant a lot of sheep. They have places like Antelope Island and uh, Wild Horse Island where they raise these sheep on and, and in a habitat where they can transport those. It's really a great thing that we have these tags and, and we're fortunate from a sportsman's standpoint to have a few guys that are capable of being able to afford something like that for all this money to go back into conservation. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, GunBroker.com, Cryptech, Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. Well, sun's up, we're just heading out. Getting ready to go up on the hill, have a look around. It could be a little bit tough today looking at the, the, it's smoky out here. We've had some smoke to deal with and today it seems to be the worst. So we'll go out and we'll look around and hopefully find a ram and make a move. We didn't have a lot of long range visibility but we just tried to wait it out and we had a beautiful hillside in front of us to look at which looked like beautiful sheep country to me and I bet you we weren't there 30 minutes, probably less, and we spotted four rams right below us. We've got four rams down here that just came around the hill. They're traveling pretty, moving out pretty good, just walking. Probably bothered by the flies, it's pretty hot. And so I think they'll find a spot down in here. I've seen rams right in here many times. What we did have going for us here was when Gary set that gun up on that rest, I knew he could hold really good. He had my best the West rifle with the Huskama scope on it. So now the minute I range that, I dial to the yardage. Now I'm sighted in exactly for that distance. So that's really important. scream or cry. <laughs> oh, that one's for you, Dad. Did it, buddy. That's the shot we were presented with, and uh, what he did was just slid that bullet in right above the hip, right into the spine, shooting right up into the base of his neck, and kind of lengthwise right up through him there. And You know, it would have been nice if he'd have stood up, but we yelled and hollered and whistled and rolled rocks and everything else, and uh, the way it is. Hunting, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and that was it. All he'd do is look at us. Good job, buddy. Thank you, John. This has been a lifetime dream, and it just came true today. The last few days hunting them has been a huge experience, but this is, man, I can't wait to go see him. <laughs> huh? How about that? Oh, look at that thing. What do you think of that critter? That is one beautiful ram. 
Aren't they a, a cool dream. animal? They are cool. This is a dream come true, John. A dream come true. This is a lucky thing for me, and it's, this is a great thing for sheep. This is a great thing for the Wild Sheep Foundation. It's a great thing for the state of Wyoming. It keeps these sheep on the mountains so that people like us can hunt them, so that our kids can hunt them, so that our grandkids can hunt them. And this was just a great trip, and I want to thank them all for everything they did for me. Next week on The Best of the West, You know, sitting over a pile of bait out on a frozen lake, you're basically in a wolf blind. That's a totally different feeling than sitting in a tree stand or a, a ground blind waiting for a pronghorn antelope to come to water. Just kind of an eerie, glowing feeling up here in the, in the north country of British Columbia.